Many of you that watch my videos know that usually somewhere down the line something traumatic happens and I say, God damn it. And I asked my friend Nicola Pang to calligraph that for me. And this is what he came up with, which I think is a beautiful calligraphic rendition of how I say the words. So, here's to Nicola Pang. Okay, now, I will make room here. I'm using, I love drawing on and writing on old uh, ledger paper, as many of you know, because of its very smooth, very hard surface. And yesterday, I made a video about balance and the fulcrum of the pen and the long pen versus the short pen. And I had these pens and was showing how they worked. And what I did was I did a little nib switcheroo. They both held Waterman, sorry, Wall Ever Sharp number two size nibs, so I wasn't doing anything that could not have been done in the factory, in the in the time machine, in the universe. Uh, if we go back into our universe, originally, this nib was on this pen, and vice versa. Vice versa, as Judy Holly at Holiday said in born yesterday a great movie anyway vice versa so these were switched in an almost identical alternative universe they appeared as they do now in the actual pens they're in they're both they're both correct nibs is what i'm trying to say but what i did was this nib that was broader and sort of stubby in its nature, I put in the stubbier, shorter pen. And the weight of the pen being more forward in my hand um, applies some extra tonnage or fraction thereof onto the point of the pen and it writes It writes in the manner it's meant to write, meaning um, the, the stubbier, broader nib makes a wetter line, a broader line, because of the weight is in the front. Conversely, this nib now, being in the longer pen where the, there's a weight in the back, it allows, yes, a little bit of weight on the bow of this pen, again, depending on where I hold it, um, the weight on the back of the pen lifts up or tends to lift up onto the bow of the pen and I'm able to get a really, really fine line. When this nib was in the shorter pen, being that there was more weight forward, um, it was just slightly harder for me to get the really, really fine lines because I had to intentionally pick up the weight of the pen a little bit more than I have to here. Even though the pen itself is in total heavier, the weight on this side of the fulcrum, being the fleshy part of the joint between the index finger and my opposable thumb, um, the weight pulls back and um, it is, relatively speaking, lighter on the bow of the pen. So it's, it's actually very interesting. If you have, try this experiment at home, if you have two pens with, you know, a fine, very fine uh, nib that you love writing very, very fine lines with, 
and it's in a short pen like this, put it in a longer pen and post the cap on the back and see if that weight causes you to write differently. Now in, oh, as you know, we have, there's all sorts of things that determine ink flow and weight and how well a nib works, the feed position, the um, where you hold the pen, whether you hold it up close or whether you hold it way back. All of this will determine various and change various things for you, but I think the idea of just testing out how a nib writes differently in a pen that's forward heavy or one that has weight on the back lifting up on the pen would be an interesting experiment for you to do. For you, not so much, but for you, yeah. You, the sensitive, and I mean sensitive, I'm, I'm saying sensitive in a sensitive way, I don't mean to do that. You, as a thinking being, uh, and also sensitive to all of the feedback that you're getting from a writing instrument um, will, I hope, see that, that there is a difference, because yes, there is a difference. And I'm pretty sure if you're sensitive, you'll be very aware of it. Something more than just saying, yeah, this is a short pen. That's, that's the easy way out. You can see that without trying it. This pen is shorter than this one. But it's the way the weight will affect your, the line weight of the pen nib and the ink is what I, I want you to sort of test out. Now, switching these nibs back where they actually existed for the first 80, 90, 100 years of their existence, I could easily do, and I'd be, I'm perfectly happy to write with them. There's nothing wrong with the way they were. Um, but by tweaking them slightly, by switching them as I've done, I'm able to, I think, write with them more effectively. And, you know, it's, it's a subtle difference. It's subtler than if I'm wearing a pair of shoes and a slightly thinner nylon sock as opposed to shoes with a slightly thicker sock. Your feet fit differently. You know, maybe you won't notice it. Maybe your feet will. But maybe after an entire day of wearing shoes that are slightly more loose or slightly more tight, at the end of the 12-hour day, you're, there might be a slight difference that is perceptible by your feet, if not by your whole being. But um, try that out. Try, try switching some nibs. And again, try to ignore the differences, if you can, by the, maybe the, the feed, even though that's an important part of it. You know, if there's a difference in ink flow because of some other factor, try to ignore that, um, if you can. But just try the experiment with how this feels on your, in your hand. And if it makes you, writing with a shorter pen like this makes you sort of press down more, maybe that will be the case. Um, so, I'm doing the shell game. You'll never know. I should have had, if I had three pens and three nibs, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear, and different, three different kinds of nibs, and did all sorts of different switcheroos. That would be, what, be nine combinations? Or something? I don't know how my math works, but 
that might be too much for my little tiny brain to understand, but it's easy to do it with two. Two, two variables. Length, let's keep the diameter the same just for ease. Two different nibs, two different pens. Or just even one pen. Just try the nib in one pen. You don't have to use two nibs. Just say, see, this pen, this nib really wants to sing with all of its range when I have it in this pen. When I have it in this pen, it starts out louder just because of the weight difference or it's harder to control or something. You may you may at the end of the of this little experiment have in addition to inky fingers, you might just say Pierre Gustafson is a crock of shit and you're gonna un un what? Unfollow me? Un Subscribe, that's the word I want. Every, every, every app, every uh, mode of communication these days has different ways of dealing with people that you don't like anymore. You can unfriend them, you can unsubscribe, you can unfollow. Um, anyway, you can unfriend and unfollow and unwatch and unsubscribe me if you think that I'm just talking out of my ass there. God damn it. Whoops. God damn it. On that note, let me know what you did in the comments below.